This is completely amazing. Perfect breaking news to start the week. I'm bullish, everybody. How about you? Welcome, Kronos holders. How are we feeling? These are the type of news that make me shake because it's all about adoption. It's all about expanding the Web3 DeFi cryptocurrency to more countries and more people. And well, who is next in the conquest for crypto.com? South Korea. I mean, I've never been there, but I know it's a perfect country for internet, for Web3, for development, because there's some huge smart people out there and it's all about gaming and stuff. So, of course, cryptocurrency and of course, having crypto.com having South Korea is one of the most important crypto markets globally. A good friend to the United States as well now holds the company EFTA and VSP registrations. So what is that? Well, that is exactly what we're going to be talking by the end of this video. Great news for all of us, the Crypto.com holders, the Chronos Chain holders, because at the end of the day, in my opinion, this is going to bring more people and help us achieve the 1 billion users. Let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notification bells for more Crow updates. Let's grow, everybody. I'm pretty excited. So this happened uh, yesterday night as I was doing the live before that. I'm like, whoa, so really, really good. Everybody, Chris, the CEO, is excited. The CEO went to South Korea office. You can take a look at the picture right here. Beautiful people right there. And I'm so jealous. I wish I would be working there. Maybe one day. Who knows? But right now, working my way to become a crypto.com ambassador. We're also going to take a look at the price of crypto.com and see what's going on in the market right now. But... We start with the news, guys. Crypto.com secures Electronic Financial Transaction Act and Virtual Asset Service Provider. So, so the, virtu uh, the Virtual Asset Service Provider, that's something that they've been having in different countries. As we know, we got Italy. As we know, we got, you know, Dubai and other different places to actually start working there and getting all these licenses. This is a license update. So the acquisition of these updates. So take a look at this. Uh, just yesterday, they secured this and the asset service provider registration by acquiring the payment service provider, this, and the virtual asset service provider, this. I'm not going to say it because I may say it wrong, but you may, you guys get the point. This is pretty cool and crazy CEO says. This is an exciting step for crypto.com and all the markets. Um, they're committed to working with regulators. That's something they've been saying for a while, which makes total sense. I think it's very important because now that we are in a bear market still, uh, it's important to get your uh, everything checked. So when you're in a bull market, you don't have any issues and there's nobody who can accuse you of fraud or anything. You're clear and that's very important, especially now that we get more regulation from the United States and globally. You want to, you know, keep the government aside and just do your own thing to make more money and get adoption going. That makes total sense. Now, um, particularly like countries of South, like South Korea, where consumers have strong interest and adoption of digital cryptocurrencies. Of course, I've never been there, but I follow a lot of League of Legends, gaming, and the best teams, I don't know if you, I don't know if you noticed, are from South Korea. They're super good because internet for them is super fast. It's just the way they live. And I one day would love to go there. Now, I also highlighted this. Today's announcements follows Crypto.com having received in principle approval from, of course, the monetary in Singapore, provisional approval from Dubai. Then we have registration from Italy and then Greece and then other Cyprus. It's just the domino effect. The domino effect that happens with Crypto.com in achieving this milestone, Crypto.com remains committed to the mission as an industry leader. And we go to, you know, coin market cap. The only one that's beating us is BNB and of course FTX by market capitalization. But we know, I believe crypto.com does have, could have, should have way more amplitude and, you know, countries that are licensed than FTX, in my humble opinion. Guys, this is awesome. I mean, right now, everybody's talking about this news. I think it's important for the cryptocurrency industry. Overall, my thoughts are, what are the effects in the price? Knowing that the fear is still relatively high, I mean, 30 and it's nowhere even close to 80, 90. That means that people are still holding their cash because, oh boy, oh boy. More news with the United States government. They passed already a reduction bail, printing more money. 
Can you believe it? So there's a lot of things going on in the United States, Taiwan, China, and everything. So it could affect the moon ride for Bitcoin and crypto.com, right? So um, just to give you the facts, as always, here's what's happened. So early today, as we were starting the week, Monday, um, we had a little rally, a small little pump to 15 cents. Now we're coming back. What does that mean? Well, it means that people are cashing out. They're not letting it go. They're not letting it fly just yet. Bitcoin on the four hours here, you're going to take a look at we passed the, the overbought section. When a lot of people were asleep, we passed it. And the price for Bitcoin was 24 close to 24 or so, not even close to 25, which is okay. That's already on the four, four hour error side overbought and for crypto.com close to being overbought. So exciting. So this is important because the news help us see what is going on with the whales, if they're going to cash out or so. At the end of the day, what happened today with South Korea is just a stepping stone in the right direction. It does not mean that we're going to balloon to 20 cents. I think by now you've been watching the channel. You already know that. So, so far, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Crypto.com, they're doing well. Hey, come on. We are very far from nine, sorry, nine cents, which makes total sense. And I'm all for it. Now, if you're waiting for a price less than nine cents, that's up to you. I'm not. As soon as that thing hits four, 10 cents, 11, 12, I'm buying more. That's me. If that's you, let me know in the comments right now because we're excited for this. Coming back on, everybody, we have also Wednesday, August 10th, the release of the July CPI report. That's inflation. So get ready for this week. If you're watching this before that day, get ready. If you're watching this after this, well, what happened? You tell me. You're already in the future. <laughs> So it's going to be pretty cool, right, to see what in the world go is going on with the prices, to see, well, are we going to see higher prices or not? Whatever happens, these news that are happening with South Korea to me are important. Um, I hope Mexico's next. I hope Mexico. When Mexico comes, you have to come with the channel because I'm going to be celebrating with my sombrero, I, which I don't have one, but I have a Mexican jersey. I'm going to wear it for that video. I'm already planning that, but... So far, it's exciting. I know different uh, exchangers are doing the same, which are, you know, penetrating with more licenses. But one of the things I like about Crypto.com is, you know, all the licenses they have, which they openly say it's not easy to get them. But at the end of the day, getting those authorizations for to operate in different countries matter. At the end of the day, when we look at when we look at uh, DeFi Llama, you see all those protocols right there. More than 70, everybody, right now. Tectonic, MS, VVS, Ferro Protocol, MMO at the top. Then we have more coming out. And then we have another ones with interoperability, which means that you are having other chains come to Crow and letting it coexist. Then we want some native Crow protocols to go out to Polygon and other different ones, which is the case of MMF. It's exciting. It's early. It's early. I remember 2021, we ended with a nice bull market coming down by November, December. Then 2022 has been garbage, but it's been garbage just with the price. But development, proof of history, everything, all the, the, uh, the progress, I believe, that we're seeing in 2022, it's going to be crucial to move up the ladder for price related and see a dollar 90 cents, 80 cents, 70 cents, and so on. By now, you know how bullish I am when it comes to $1 crow. I think it's going to happen um, in, in the next bull run for sure. I know some people at sometimes refer as $5 crow, $10 crow, or more. $1 crow should be the objective right now. And I know it's not going to be easy because we have whales out there trying to eat up all those gains. But slowly but surely with this news, I think we're going to get it. News and good development and progress for more adoption and more growth in the entire cryptocurrency industry. There you guys have it. Thank you very much for watching. Take a look at all the links down below. My link to join crypto.com is right there. Get $25 in, uh, in Crow and, you know, have much more other links. Join the Patreon, the Discord, all it's for you. Thank you very much, my community, Kronos, and let's get more excited. Crypto.com just did it. Great job. We'll see what country's next. That'll be super good to see. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.